Thank you for watching this video everyone and try and stick it out for the full three minutes or so if you can. This is Jackie comic uh, number 317 from January the 31st 1970 and it was sixpence or two and a half pence in British money now and it's larger than most comics and magazines of the time. It's wider than A4 um, and it's rather nice actually if you're a comic person but it is definitely a comic. It's got actors as well in there. Um, it also focuses somewhat on some sporting stars, uh, which is quite good. So it does a bit of everything. There's also uh, a lot of cartoon strips like this inside. But needless to say, I'm only showing you this because Mr. Bow is in here. And that's Jethro Tull, actually. Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull. And it's got some more obscure bands in here as well. That one's Chicken Shack. They never did much, to be honest. Which pop star annoys you most? Well, well, well. And apparently the answer to that one was Mick Jagger. So we move on through, and eventually we will on the next page, I think it is, come to Mr Bowie. Yeah, there he is. Face to face with David Bowie, the secret of my lost year. And a nice image of Bowie here. One we've already seen before, I'm sure, but there you go. What interest do you have outside music, people, architecture and painting? I used to be a commercial artist six years ago. I spent just one year at it. So it's quite a good interview with him. Um, it asks if he's still a Buddhist, to which he replies, no, I'm not, because I don't believe it's suitable for the West in its Eastern format. Always a real thoughtful sort of chat, wasn't he, Bowie, really? Then, um, are you superstitious? I never whistle in theatre dressing rooms. Mm. That's quite interesting. Do you write your own material? And he says, yes, I've had 137 published songs so far, which is quite good. Do you expect to stay in pop music for a long time? He says, I don't know. I never plan ahead. What's interesting is here, he says, what is your most tre treasured possession? And he says, there's no one possession that I couldn't part with easily. I've never attached too much importance to material things. And yet, look at his archive and he kept all of his suits and his costumes and everything really that he did and obviously it went into this VA exhibition so maybe he had a bit of a change of mind on his own stuff that uh, charted his career so that's it that's Jackie and January the 31st 1970 there's the cover and it's worth picking up if you can find one because a lot of people on their adverts don't put the bowies in there like on eBay and stuff so worth taking a look at and thanks for joining me and I'll be back with another one of these in due course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it.